Good morning, Hilton Baptist Church, and welcome to today's daily devotion taken from Psalm 124. Last night, towards the end of our church prayer meeting by Zoom, as is one to happen in Hilton from time to time, suddenly there was darkness in our home. We had a power cut. We quickly realized that it was uh, not just our home, it was a broader uh, power cut, although it was limited to part of Winterskloof, so maybe you weren't affected by it. But for two to three hours last night, we were in the midst of darkness. About an hour in, there was a ring at our doorbell. I had been the person to uh, report the uh, power cut, and so my address was given, and suddenly at my door, at about nine o'clock last night, were two people asking to come in and check my power supply. Uh, I didn't do that. I have become suspicious of such things, but eventually went up to the gate to talk to them and persuade them that the power cut wasn't just limited to my home. But I have to say, having um, my doorbell ring and people wanting to come in that late at night, or strangers wanting to come in that late at night, wasn't something that... Uh, I enjoyed at all. It kind of brought an anxiety within me. A little bit later, uh, we all went to bed and uh, it was pitch dark. And then just after we went to bed, the lights came on again, only for them to go out shortly afterwards. And all the time, our alarm battery was dying. And just before I went to sleep, I heard uh, the sound of it that I've come to recognize as being it just about to die. And I realized that I was going to sleep now without a, 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 a burglar alarm. And that kind of dissuaded me from sleep, or kept me from sleep um, for quite a while. But shortly after that, the alarm, uh, the electricity came back on again, and I was able to put the alarm on again and went back to sleep. But that wasn't the end of the story. At four o'clock in the morning, our alarm went off. One of our beams uh, went off, and we... I had to kind of look around and see uh, if anybody was around, but fortunately no one was. What I have just described to you is not something you would be unaware of. It's a fairly common occurrence in Hilton, but it did certainly bring a fair degree of anxiety into my heart. Psalm 124 comes to us with a lot of confidence. It recognizes danger all around us, but it declares without question that they, the psalmist had been rescued from those dangers. The psalmist had been able to overcome all those dangers. Why? Because the Lord was with him. So I don't know how you feel uh, about that. Sometimes I feel like that's wishful thinking. Uh, there are plenty of dangers around me, and will the Lord really protect me from them? Can I have such confidence? I think the psalmist reminds us that we can, that we can. You see, the psalmist knew dangers. Verse 3 talks about uh, God's helping him against the monster, against the Leviathan that comes from the sea, the sea monster. Uh, I suppose most accurately portrayed as a dragon. And as Eugene Peterson uh, well says that dragons often represent a projection of our fears, horrible constructions in our mind of what might hurt us. And we need God to save us from what might or could but probably won't be. And sometimes we can lie awake for hours being afraid of that which actually hasn't happened. The second uh, help that the psalmist got is in verse 4, and this was the danger of flood in a, a country that is quite uh, filled with desert. When the flood comes, or when the rains come, uh, flooding is often the experience. And uh, we need God to save us from natural disasters, don't we, that can so easily and so quickly overpower us. We think we are strong. We think we're in control. But these natural disasters often remind us that we're not. The psalmist has gone through the worst of all of that. And he celebrates the, the fact that God has saved him from it. That God has not abandoned him from it. That God has helped him. The Lord has enabled him 
to come through. You know, the fundamental reality that we live with as Christians is that God is on our side. It doesn't always work out the way we want it to or the way we expect it to, but fundamentally he's on our side and he protects us. He protects us from all sorts of things, but not least of which he protects us from some things that are really dangerous to us, but we often forget about. He protects us from our trespasses and sins through the blood of Jesus. And he protects us from death and judgment and hell because of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have certain hope for the future. Never forget that protection because it's real. It's not imagined. And it is a protection that God gives us. He protects us from lots of other things too, but fundamentally he protects us from our spiritual dangers that are against us. I love the last verse of this song. The God who created heaven and earth helps me personally. Isn't that an amazing truth? I hope you believe that. The great God of creation helps you, you individually, me individually. He protects us. He saves us. He rescues us. He's there for us. He's on our side. Take comfort from that this morning and put your faith afresh in Jesus.